You may have seen the 2i4 promotional video. I'm going to take you through using the 2i4 in the way Continuum and Martin Rowe did. You will notice there's a red and white card included in your 2i4 box. As per the instructions, go to focusrite.com forward slash register, follow the instructions, and finally download the relevant software and drivers. Should you run into problems, please turn the card over and all contact details are available. First, you need to set the Scarlett 2i4 as the input and output device in your software. So here in Logic Pro, click on Logic Pro, Preferences, Audio, and in the Input and Output Device menus, select Scarlett 2i4 USB. This is the same principle in all other doors. So here in Ableton Live, click on Live, Preferences, select the Audio tab, and in the Audio Input and Output Device menus, select Scarlett 2i4 USB. To record into both of the 2i4's inputs simultaneously, first you need to configure your software audio channels. Here in Logic, set Input 1 for Audio 1, and input 2 for audio 2. Again, in Ableton Live, set the external inputs to 1 for channel 1 and 2 for channel 2. To record ARM2 channels in live on a Mac, hold the command key and click on the record ARM button. If on PC, hold the control key and click on the record ARM button. When using certain microphones to record, you may need to apply phantom power. Phantom power is a method for transmitting DC electric power through microphone cables to operate microphones that contain active electronic circuitry. It's best known as a convenient power source for condensing microphones. Always check whether your microphone requires phantom power before applying it. When recording vocals or instruments, latency in headphones can be really off-putting. The Scarlett 2i4 allows you to hear your input signal without latency. By switching to mono, you hear your input signal in one headphone, Stereo supplies you with a full stereo image. Now simply adjust the mix of input level versus playback with a direct monitor dial. The Scarlett 2i4 is an ideal DJing tool as well as a production device. To set the 2i4 up as a DJ tool in live, in preferences select the audio tab and click on output config. Now activate outputs 3 and 4 by clicking on them. In the bottom right hand corner, click on the cross symbol and set two audio channels as A or deck A and B or deck B. To hear a Q mix in your headphones, click on Q out and change it to outputs three and four. Now by clicking on solo to change it to Q, you can select which deck to preview by clicking on the headphone symbols. You may want to use a MIDI controller to move live's crossfader or control effects. To do this, click on MIDI to activate MIDI learn, click on the crossfader in live, move the hardware control you wish to assign, click on MIDI to turn MIDI learn off, and the controls will be assigned. This is the same procedure for any other MIDI controls you wish to add to your set. The Scarlett 2i4 really is a one-stop shop for all musicians, producers, and DJs, as it sounds fantastic and has all the features you need to record and perform good music. For more tutorials, visit www.youtube.com forward slash TV.